Hey guys, Melba, Doris, we are here for a very special holiday Christmas uh, Christmas, I couldn't say that, Christmas time edition, get ready with, we're gonna put on makeup. We're wearing our Doris and Melba t-shirts, which you can see right here. <laughs> you just fall over. I did. <laughs> you can get these t-shirts on Teespring. I will include a link in the description of this video. We uploaded a video about our Teespring t-shirts and there's hoodies and there's a mug, mugs, and a, a tote and a tote. All of the profits are going directly to charity. Um, any info will be included in the description of this video. We're gonna be doing our Doris and Melba makeup. Now we're not shaving because neither of us want to. I have my brows sort of half glued down and I'm gonna help you with yours. Thank you. But that's, he's, we're not playing with him. So he's had, uh, he like <laughs> pissed off, just stormed out of the room. When we do Doris and Melba, it takes a while to get ready. Like three hours. It's a lot of stuff going on to get ready. And I do both of our makeup. And I always say, learn how to do your makeup. Learn how to do I your never makeup. do. Learn how to do your makeup. So in this video, this is Doris and Melba does their face, but Doris is doing her own face. And I'll walk you through the process, but I've set out all the products that he's gonna need. And I'm really curious to see what happens. Picasso. <laughs> I don't like glue stick and I, and it's just, it's a pain in the butt. What I am wearing right now and what I'm going to put on you is the Mac, um, mascara mixing medium. This is just, it's called lash mixing medium. When we did the, um, like the Halloween video, we used this and then a layer of spirit gum and then makeup. We're going to skip the spirit gum. It's not going to work as good without the spirit gum, but we don't want to mess with that right now. I need to actually pull this back. He is, having an affair with a, with a woman who is doing it with a porcupine. Did I say porcupine? I meant concubine. What am I looking for? Sponges. Thank you. Dry but not dry. Since this is going to take a couple layers and he's um, blow drying his eyebrows, Max Studio Fix powder in white. And then I'm going to do another layer of foundation. They're so flat. They're How do they feel? Um, perfect. Well, while you were doing that, I made us a mixtape of all the old nostalgic songs from high school to get us in the mood. You could do with another layer, but do you want another layer? No, this is good. When did I get pores on my forehead? Hello, this is my makeup, my how I do makeup tutorial. I hold it up right in front of my face. <laughs> to block the camera? It's like, who wants to go to town with a guy who drives a rowboat? <laughs> <laughs> this is your foundation shade. This is your highlight shade. This is my foundation shade. This is my highlight shade. I just like start, you want to coat it really well. But then how do I get definition? Or does, do, is you paint just... that? You paint that back on. <laughs> this is the, I hate my face school of doing makeup. Mm. Okay. So this is the Kryolan TV paint stick. I didn't mention that at the beginning, but that's what it is. Um, I've used a lot of different um, full coverage foundations, like Max Full Coverage Foundation. It's fine. What nobody talks about is the smell. Like when people do reviews of this, no one talks about the stink. And you gotta like baby powder. You're Stop my sponge. Him. I'm your sponge. Agnes. Agnes. Agnes Gooch. Gooch. I was talking to Beth today about movies and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels is one of her top favorite movies of all time. Mine too. And I was like, Jay loves that movie. And then she said one of her other favorite movies was Clue. And I'm like, you and Jay are the same person. But then I mentioned The Birdcage and she's never seen it. What do I know? What are you doing? I'm killing myself on stage. Nothing, I lie here. And then I told her my favorite part of the whole movie is, what is it? And where are they from, Barbie? Raw. But let me tell you why. This one? Yeah, so. So do I use the stick? You can, you can use your fingers or you can use a stick, whichever you want. And I do use the Airspun um, Cotty powder. It also stinks like a lot of baby powder, but it's cheap. It actually works really well. Oh, that smell though. Powder is the one thing you can never have too much of. 
She may not be good enough for Vogue magazine, but she's good enough for us. And you go, I'm smart. <laughs> that is my favorite thing that I've ever made on YouTube ever. That, that video. video. Yeah, people ask, like, what's my favorite thing ever? And I'm not even in it. Just my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so he writes all the jokes for the videos. And then I look at it and say, but what about this? And I go, no. <laughs> but not always. What do you think about manta rays? So then when that's done, powder. Not the movie. Why, yes, it is me, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Best part of that movie. Do you remember that? In powder? In powder. No. He, it's because he's the teacher and the camera comes into the classroom. His back is to the class. He's writing on the chalkboard and he turns around and there's a moment where he doesn't say anything. And he's not looking at the camera, but he's looking at the camera and he's not saying anything. And he kind of smiles as if to say, why, yes, it is me. You're welcome. Are you good? Oh, yeah. Hi. Plenty of powder. Whose face is this? Whose hands are these? And the colors, by the way, in case anyone was curious, 2W for me, 4W for you, and then the light one is 406. I'm taking some of the 406, which is like um, kind of like a porcelain, not quite white color. It's going to look white on camera, but it's not. And much like everyone on Instagram, I'm putting more on top of what's already there. This is how people do makeup now. They do their eyes and then they put cream makeup on top of it so they can do their eyes more. What? I know. It's the way of the future. What happened to just a thick foundation and then some black eyeliner? I don't know. What happened to lighting your, your eyeliner on fire so that you get a nice black line? I miss that. Yeah, how do I get eyebrows though? Or those after? Are those I do eyebrows last, but you can do them now if you want. No, it's fine. It's, up to, it's totally up to you. I'll do eyes. Okay. So, your blue is in that palette there. That says sugar, sugar pill on it. Yep. Yeah, that's Doris's blue. They have very basic color palettes. Doris and Melba. It's a blue shadow, and then Melba has a green, which is Xenon from um, Melt. Hold it up. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my god, you have powder all over your shirt. Oh my god, I do too. And you can also use your finger if you want. No, I Just so you know, because I often use my finger. I watched videos. I watched a, the right way and wrong way to do eyeshadow. And then, and then Bruce said... Oh, was that a Goss video? <laughs> yes. And Bruce was like, you should have just watched a Dustin video. <laughs> I don't think Dustin has a video like that. This is not how he did it. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to think it was so cool that I could play tic-tac-toe with the back of my grandma's hand. <laughs> really? It's not cool. I'm serious. <laughs> now it's like I pinch the skin on the back of my hand and I'm like, oh, look, it's still there. Hey, who? Eve's uh, Plum, that's where vitamin C came from, right? Yes. I liked that album. Which album? The Eve's Plum album. I think they only had one. I, I don't know. I, it's the one that I remember from high school. How do I get rid of an angle? Well, let me see. This eye has an angle. This eye doesn't. <laughs> Try blending it out. Try a blending brush. Try like this. And blend it? Yeah, that's from your boyfriend. And just blend it out. Oh, this is a gauze brush? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's easier to do makeup if you're ambidextrous. Oh, probably. Why don't you ask anyone who's ambidextrous in the audience? Audience, if you're ambidextrous, is it easier to do your makeup? Comment. Some people read because they cannot think for themselves. Why is there no salt on this table? Is this where you were cream of corn? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Andre? I think... I mean, I think... I think that my friends... My friends are the kind of people who like to see me with highlights. <laughs> I rewatched that too. I watched just the vlog parts. They're good. Yeah. I like those. <laughs> That's not from a film. That's not a movie quote. That's a quote from the very special Christmas special. Which you should watch with people. 
Remember, they should be sisters, not twins. That's right. That's why one of my eyebrows is a square and the other one's a circle. So this goes on the top and then... Yeah, on the top and then wings out. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. And you can pull, like, sometimes it helps to, like, pull your eye. Um, you can start on, like, the outside and work your way in. There's all kinds of tricks, but... Yeah. Oh, you figure it out. Don't help me. <laughs> Doris is descended from Elizabeth Taylor. Girl, I'm almost done. Well, I haven't even started. I'm just, I'm just, now I'm just like stalling. You are? Yeah. Lips. We both wear liquid lipsticks from Voldemort. <laughs> what? <laughs> he who must not be named. He wears red rum and I wear Anna Nicole. When I do Doris and Melba's makeup, I kind of switch, um, are undertones like this is more of like a something that I think you would see on someone who has warmer skin and this is something that you'd see on someone who has cooler skin the beanie really helps what doors <laughs> I'm really excited to see you with the wig on <laughs> yeah okay I go out like this who is your inspiration for doors uh-huh you know, honestly, there isn't a single person that is an inspiration for Doris. And the similarity between uh, characters on TV who look like Doris or who Doris looks like is purely coincidental. But I think all the best comedy is duos. And I grew up watching I Love Lucy. Mm -hmm. um, so... You think like a little bit of... Um... Ethel. Yeah. Yeah. I can totally see that. What about you? What's Melba? Who's Melba's inspiration? Um, the biggest one I think is Eve Arden. I was going to guess that. Yeah. It's just, it's, yeah. That's in, in general or from? Just in general, not from anything. And that's why, like, when we got the different wig, because I was always, I had that kind of bob thing cleopatra looking thing yeah and it didn't quite work so when i went with the um the shorter wig um then it was like oh, that's eve arden and then it worked that actually is that's actually pretty much melba she just needs a cigarette i'm not on my cigarette Men schmear. Dirty brushes go in the dirty brush cup. This, <laughs> this is an opportunity while you're doing that for me to talk about my brush cups. You have one of these, right? Didn't I get you one? Yes. Yes, we both have one of these. I have these, the zombie one. Yeah. These are from Goldie Starling. This is my dirty brushes go in here. And then I have the green one right here. Do you see the colors? Yeah, I really like those. They're are they so, hand painted? Yeah. Wow. They're so cool. And then I have this one. Brush cups from Goldie Starling. I will include a link in the description of this video because they're so cool. And she's so nice and she's like one of my favorite people. And I want to do a Christmas song with her. Does she sing? Yes, she does. She sings very well, actually. Mm. I really want to, and I don't know if she does this, I really want to record um, Our World from Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. Oh, that'd be good. With her, I think that yeah. would be fun. Yeah, do it. It's like, I mean, um, I'm Betty Davis from... Oh my God, it's Baby Jane. We got rats in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. like you just came in from the cold. Oh, bird. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Because I can give Doris any expression I want. <laughs> I gotta take my beanie off. There you go. Doris and Melba, get ready with me. Get ready with us. Yep, that's accurate. <laughs> there's these, and then there's other ones, and then there's t-shirts that have photos on them. 
and a tote bag and a mug. And again, yep. anything that you buy, all the money, 100% goes to charity. So you're also doing a good thing for people. Thanks for watching. This is awesome, fun. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. From Doris and Melba. From us and ours. To you and to yours. you and yours. It's so weird. I was watching old video clips of old Hollywood, Hollywood people wish everyone Merry Christmas. And someone said that. From me and mine to you and yours. Or to you and yours from me and mine. And I'm just like, that just somehow sounds gross. Yeah. I don't know. Get your yours out of my mind. I know. Thanks for watching. And... I don't know. Leave a comment. Say hi. Say what's up. What do you want people to say? Give them a task. Give them homework. Tell me a quick story about the first time you did a full face. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye.